Hey guys, RJ here with One Shot Gear. Been getting a lot of questions. How do I maintain my optics in the field? So we're going to start off simple. I've got my binoculars here. I clean them two different ways. Field cleaning and then uh, storage cleaning when I get home. So we're going to start off super simple. We're going to just break down the pieces to my binoculars. So on every pair of binos, you're going to have your armor coating, which protects your binos. You're going to have your lenses. You're going to have your eye cups, which are usually removable, and then you're going to have your exterior assemblies, all of the stuff that needs to be cleaned and it has to be exposed to the elements. So first things first, how I'm maintaining my binos in the field. I'm not too worried about the armor coating or anything like that, so the only thing I'm carrying with me back there is actually a microfiber cloth, and that's just going to be to help maintain those lenses. It also helps if you have some kind of moist towelette or lens cleaning solution. I don't personally carry that stuff just because it's extra trash, but it does help in the long run to maintain your binos. All right, so my first step is I like to remove my eye cups. Most binos are gonna have removable eye cups after about 2002, 2005. I think just about everybody went to that. And take those guys off. And the first thing I like to do is we gotta remove the, all those big particles you can see on those lenses. Um, I like to personally just blow on it. Um, it's, it's important you don't wipe those big particles off. Those are going to scratch your lenses. There's going to be permanent indents into the um, glass and the coatings, and that's not something you want to do. So I like to blow it off, and then after I get done with that, I want to put a moist towelette, or I want to dampen my uh, cleaning rag, or even blow hot air and get some kind of, get some kind of steam buildup on top of my lenses, and then wipe from the center in small circles working my way out. That way to get rid of all that debris. It's, um, one of the biggest mistakes I see in the backwoods is guys are cleaning their lenses dry. That is gonna be a for sure way to scratch your lenses, especially if you miss some of those big pieces of debris. It just doesn't give you any kind of cushion to get those particles off. Um, another big one is I see a lot of guys cleaning with your shirt. Most shirts are going to be okay to clean your lenses, but the biggest problem I have with it is that that shirt is going to be on you all day. It's going to get just as nasty and grimy as your binos and your protective cases. So whatever particles you're taking off, it's already in your shirt, and you're just going to wipe and scratch those lenses. All right, guys, as you can see, field cleaning is super simple, straightforward, and only about the lenses. So again, remove those eye cups, get some moisture on those lenses, make sure you blow off all those big particles, and then just wipe from the center, work your way out, and repeat as necessary. Not overly complicated. Again, you're just trying to get uses out of them and protect those coatings as long as possible. So, your at-home maintenance on your binos. This should be your biggest cleaning of the year. It's how you're going to protect every little piece that you are in charge of as the consumer on your binos. Um, we're going to do the armor coating. We're going to do all the exterior assemblies. We're going to do the lenses. We're going to make sure we maintain those eye cups and get them as sparkly as possible. The pieces we're going to need for this is we're going to need a... Um, air or a brush for the lenses. We're going to need some solution, another micro cloth for those lenses, and then some kind of soap and brush for the armor coating of your binos. So first thing, remove the eye cups. Remove all your other accessories you have attached to your binos. And then just give them nice rinse. What's nice about most high-end binos is they're super water resistant. So you can just rinse them under the sink. It's important you don't submerge them or put them in your dishwasher. I've seen that before. But just give them a nice good rinsing. So as you can see, there's a bunch of good gunk in there. You just want to make sure you get all of that out you can. You can be a lot more aggressive when the eye cups are removed versus when they're on the binos. You don't have to worry about the lenses. So feel free to get in there and scrub it. Whatever you gotta do to get it out of there. So, a lot of you guys with rifle cleaning kits at home, they come in real handy to clean eye kits. All right guys, I always like to do my lenses right away after I wash it out under the sink. So I'll just get a nice um, wipe here and I will treat these lenses. Again, you wanna start in the center and work your way out. So again, I like to just take my finger, just like that, go to the center and work your way out until it's all nice and clean. Find a different spot on the wipe, go to the center, and small circles until you work your way out. Just like that. 
So on the bottom here, same thing. Find a new spot on your wipe. Just like that. And one more side here. Just like that. And as you guys can see, those lenses are a lot more cleaner than they were before. So right after you guys get done under the sink and get them all nice and cleaned up, I like to leave them for an hour or so out in the open to make sure I get as much of that moisture gone as possible. I like to lean them up against the wall or something so those bottom lenses are exposed so that way I get nice airflow through there. Um, something else super important is if you guys are in a tropical climate or around a lot of salt water, you need to rinse your binos after every single use. Salt water will destroy your binos, whether it's in um, if you're just around it or you dipped it in there. So every time you come back from like a sea adventure or bird watching down in Mexico, rinse these guys off at the hotel or back at your house. It's super important to maintain your binos. All right, guys, that is basically it on how we at One Shot Gear maintain our binos through all of our hunting season. So if you guys got any questions, feel free to reach out. Any concerns, all that fun stuff, just make sure you have the proper equipment, you avoid those don'ts, and you constantly take care of your gear, and it'll take care of you in the woods. As always, thanks for watching, and have a great day.